After arriving back on Ord Mantle, the Bad Batch dropped Gregor off at Sid's while they repaired their ship. While Echo fixed the outer hull, Omega assisted him but began to become worried, telling him that she couldn't focus due to Hunter being captured. Echo reassured her that they would rescue him, but they needed the ship to be fixed before they could do anything about it. After fixing the hull, they met up with Tech who was fixing the ship's systems and Wrecker who reported Sid's feeling on leaving Gregor in her parlor. Tech finished his work, but then received a transmission from Hunter's Com, learning that he was not on Daro, but on Kamino. As the batch traveled through hyperspace, Tech told them that the Empire was trying to lure them in with Hunter's Com, but Wrecker told him that they're no going back and that they had to try to save Hunter regardless. Tech asked Omega about the specific coordinates she gave him and she explained that they led to a secret landing pad that they could use to get into Tipoka City without being spotted. They soon arrived on the planet and Tech flew them toward the coordinates that took them to the middle of the ocean. Omega explained that they had to fly lower to activate the platform, and they were soon able to land on an underwater platform. Omega led them to the underwater tunnel system that took them to Nala Shea's secret underwater facility, a facility that Omega explained as a private research laboratory that was kept secret from most people on Kamino. Sensing Omega's anxiousness, Echo asked if she was all right, but Omega stated that her feelings did not matter, only saving Hunter. The group arrived at Nala Shea's laboratory and Rekt questioned what was so special about this place, and Omega stated that this was where she was created. She explained that Experimental Unit 99's mutations were enhanced in this room and that she was there to witness it before the Bad Batch left to join the other clones. The group heard movement, and Omega spotted her friend RZ-3 is revealed to have been hiding. He told them about soldiers deactivating droids and forcing key Kamino and medical personnel onto transports, with those who resisted being eliminated. He explained that all clone troopers were being reassigned and transported off-world with the exception of Crosshair. Tech managed to track Hunter's comm and they left to find him. The group made it underneath the training room and realized that Hunter's signal was above them. Tech, Wrecker, and Echo decided to go through the lift and not the entrance to catch Crosshair off guard. Echo ordered Omega to return to the lab and contact Rex. When the three clones ascended to the top and were surrounded by Crosshair and his squad, Echo contacted Omega to let her know the situation. However, Omega was determined to help and decided to activate several training droids. However, just as she did so, she was spotted by ES-02. Fortunately, RZ-3 activated a control panel that struck ES-02 and knocked her out. Meanwhile, Crosshair, in an effort to prove his loyalty to the Bad Batch, eliminated his own squad. He attempted to convince Hunter to let go of Omega and that Clone Force 99's true purpose was to use the gifts to serve the Empire. Hunter replied that Crosshair did not know who they really were, causing Crosshair to state that he shouldn't make the same mistake twice. Suddenly, the training droids Omega turned on were unleashed on the group, causing them to work together to fight them off. After defeating the training droids, Hunter pulled a blaster on Crosshair and told him that the inhibitor chip was causing him to act loyal to the Empire and that they could help him. Crosshair responded that he was wrong and that he took out his chip a long time ago, stating this was who he is. Before Crosshair could fire, he was stunned by Hunter. Omega embraced Hunter, who apologized about bringing her back to Kamino after he had promised she would never return there. However, Omega smiled and said that he would have done the same for her. Tech explained to the group that Star Destroyers were descending on Tipoka City, telling them they needed to leave quickly. Hunter, after pondering, decided to take Crosshair with them, which earned him an approving nod from Omega. The group attempted to run out of the empty facility, but Imperial ships began to fire upon the city. They tried to make their way outside, but were forced back inside after seeing a large bombardment destroying the facility.